Hi, this is James Davis from Oklahoma. I'm Mary Testa, and this is 10 Questions with iHeartRadio Broadway. iHeartRadio Broadway, driven by Mercedes-Benz. The best or nothing. I made my Broadway debut in 1980 with a show called Barnum. I made my Broadway debut in 2011 with John Guare's The House of Blue Leaves, starring Ben Stiller and Edie Falco. Oh my goodness, if I could only survive on three cast albums. Um, I think Floyd Collins, Adam Gettle, anything by Michael John Lacusa, and Candide. My favorite moment in Oklahoma is the Dream Ballet because we get to stand stationary and watch this beautiful dancer named Gabrielle Hamilton uh, work the stage. I don't have mentors. I don't have heroes because you're bound to be disappointed. My heroes are every single actor I work with. If I was stranded on a desert island and there were two characters from Oklahoma that would keep me alive, one, it would be Aunt Eller because she's super practical, and two, lead dancer from Oklahoma because she would keep spirituality and faith alive. What three roles are on my performing bucket list? I, I uh, kind of just approach things the way when they come at me, so I don't have that kind of thing, but there's one role that I've always wanted to play, and that's Catherine in Taming of the Shrew. My favorite backstage visitor was Megan Mullally and Nick Offerman. They just loved the show, and they were so generous with the amount of um, gratitude that they were giving us about seeing the show. Which performers <laughs> did you look up to growing up? Marcel Marceau, who was a mime, very famous mime, um, and uh, Jonathan Price. My favorite fan moment in Oklahoma is um, just the fact that they, there's been a few instances where we get fan art, and I think it's amazing that these, they're generally young kids, are at home and the show's so meaningful to them that they're taking time in creative ways, making stuff for the performers and thanks.